think everybody just needs to chill. Dance a little, listen to some music. Uno mas tequila, por favor. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. And if you don't like it, go f*** yourself. I may look like the party girl. That doesn't mean I left my brain at the border. It's five o'clock somewhere. I had to become an expat in order to get back to my Mexican roots. People tell me I'm like Switzerland. Really, I'm like Russia. People come down here, and it's like the Gulf of Mexico sucks their brains out. Roxy is the foundation of everything that I look for in my home here. Um, she's the first one to say hello to a stranger. She offers her services everywhere. She says hello to everyone. She will help you in the blink of an eye. She has, there's no hesitation. She's strong, she's pragmatic. I love her too. Roxanne, oh, I've loved Roxanne since the day I moved here. She is our go-to for the Spanish language. Um, we're all striving to be like Roxanne, as far as I'm concerned, because she's been here 10 years, and uh, she's who I want to be in this community. Hey, girl. Good morning. Is this open? Yes, it is. Yep. Are the puppies OK? Oh, they're fine. Ah, they're fine. They're such guard dogs. They're such guard dogs. What are you doing this morning? Not a darn thing. I got run over. Roxy. Roxy's my go-to girl. She's been here longest. She speaks Spanish. She deals, she really is part of the, the Mexican community here. She goes to quinceaneras, she goes to, which is a 15 year old birthday party. Very big deal in Mexico. And for her to be invited to that shows that her Mexican friends really, really have accepted her as part of their family. And she goes to all the fiestas. She even sleeps, well, she sleeps in till 11. We're, that's one of Roxy's rules. No texting till 11. Because a lot of times she's out till three, four in the morning with her Mexican friends. I got here 11 years ago and there was nothing. There was no internet. We used to have to go into Progreso to use the um, internet cafes. And you'd go and it's like normal. You don't know one day they're going to be open, how long they're going to be open for. It was 10 pesos an hour, which was decent. You just give them your 10 pesos and where you go. When I first moved here and I didn't speak Spanish, it was really scary. And, but the people were very amazing. I drew pictures. Um, I used a dictionary a lot. And it was, it was fun because you're learning something new. And every day was a new day. It was a new challenge. Well, that really hasn't changed. It's still a new day and a new challenge. My daughter Tara and her friend Nicole have come to visit this week from Toronto and they're here just to have fun, see what's going on. They've never been here for Semana Santa, so this is a first. We're gonna put them on the party bus, we're gonna feed them all the stuff that's in the main square, and just let them, just have a great time. We can't wait to party with our mom. So here we are at the square here in Chilam, the village of Chilam, and this is traditionally um, a fair, type thing uh, every Semana Santa which is Holy Week and today is Good Friday people come from everywhere to enjoy the beach enjoy the cooler weather because it's usually hotter in uh, the city and it gets so crowded and it's so fun lots of food rides vendors we're gonna have a great time they're making sabutes panuchos tacos um, they can change it and make it so it's from uh, pastor and or barbecued meat or um, pork chops. It, they have a huge um, piece of uh, pastor, and it's basically what are those things from Greece that they, they make? The the gyro, heroes, heroes. 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 It's the same deal, only it's spiced different. They're awesome. Everybody loves them. I've been here in Chalem now for 12 years. Well, going on 12 years. Uh, I've loved it every minute of it. Yes, there have been some big changes. When I first got here, there was hardly any expat, expat community. 
What was here was snowbirds. They come and go. They didn't stay. Um, now they're staying. Better or worse, some days it's good, some days it's bad. I, um, I enjoy my Mexican friends. I really, really do. Some people don't understand that. They want English spoken. You look at them like, go back to where you came from. It is not that it, these people bend over backwards to help you. They do. If you're having problems, I first got down here, I drew pictures. Because they couldn't, I didn't know the words. And they helped me out immensely. So I do feel, sometimes I think the expats are going, looking at it the wrong way. You're in their country. Deal with it. 